Last week, our shipping to mainland Mexico was delayed by Tropical Storm Lydia. So while we waited, we put our time to good use and donated as much food and sanitary items we could buy to the people who lost everything in the storm. Now with our good deed done, we're back to La Paz to try and catch the next ferry to mainland Mexico. Our original plan was to explore the whole southern tip of Baja California. But since the hurricane and other things that happened, we decided to fast track it a little bit. So we are actually back in La Paz on our way to the ferries, where we can catch the ferry from La Paz back to mainland Mexico to Mazatlan. And we're hoping that we can board it today. It's 2 p.m. right now, the ferry leaves at 5, so it's actually a bit late for boarding. So even though we love Baja California, I think both, both Michaela and I are just a bit sick of the really humid, hot and dry weather at the same time. And we're keen to see something new, so we're actually pretty excited to move on and to board the ferry and see mainland jungle Mexico. Alright guys, the ferry to Mazatlan isn't actually running today, so we went out there today, we weighed the car, we measured it, we got all the information, and then we realised we had to come all the way back again. But that's no problem because sometimes when you're an overlander you just get sick of being out in nature and you seriously get sick of living in a car. So we've come to a shopping centre, we're going to come to the cinemas and watch a movie together, and we're just going to chill. It's going to be awesome. I think people often get the impression that the overland life is all about always wanting to explore and see more and sometimes because we're living for so long in the car we just miss our families, miss normal things from life like going to the movies or to the shopping center you know? sometimes we feel like we could be back with our families just having a Sunday lunch Sometimes if we can't have it, and you know, that's the price we pay to live the overland life, I guess. Not that we hate it, we love it, you know, but it's just that it's not all it's just exciting, you know. First part of this process is to get inspected here and they will actually check if we have the car permit for Mexico, our passports and visas. They're just checking the chassis number right now to make sure that the paperwork that we got from um, when we crossed into Mexico is the correct paperwork for this car. And only after we've been inspected here we can actually go and then get the car weighed and measured and then they will write down the measurements for this car and only then we can go to the to the cashier to actually buy our tickets so it's actually a pretty lengthy price, process there's two companies that actually ferry from baja to the mainland one is called tmc maritime transport of california and the other one is called baja ferries we decided to go to um with tmc just because it's leaving today it's also a little bit cheaper and we also heard that for people with um for people traveling with dogs you can take dogs with you on this one whereas in the other Baja ferries you can't. We paid 4,700 pesos which is around $280 um, and that includes the ship crossing food for tonight and tomorrow morning because it's going to take about 18 hours um, and also we can sleep in the van if we want to so we didn't have to pay for an extra cabin. Ferry has just arrived, it's that one there. And it looks so much like a piece of junk. There is hardly any space between her, so I'm not sure how that trip's gonna be. Just gonna get the car and climb out because we wanna get the top deck. If we get if we don't get the top deck, it's just too dangerous to sleep in the car due to like diesel fumes from trucks running all day long. So we have to make sure we get the top deck if we wanna stay in the car. Which means Shoot start! Alright guys, we are on the boat. They did 
did not ask for anything. They didn't check our tickets. They didn't check absolutely anything. So we're just here wondering if we're actually on the right boat. <laughs> I hope we don't end up in some really random place. Okay, so we've spent the last 10 minutes trying to find the actual yeah. indoor area of this boat. And after 10 minutes, we walked through some tiny little corridors and some portholes and everything, and we found this portholes. tiny little dining room. This can't be it. There has to be something else, right? No, we have paid for the better ferry. Oh, there's a little shrine. Bathroom here, bathroom with toilets and showers, two showers. Which is a pro. And this is where everyone lives. And band is all the way up the very front. I feel very uncomfortable right now. I'm not sure if you can see, but this, this part of the ship is actually in an angle like this. And they put us right there. And these two trucks are right here. And the only thing that promises to save us are very side down points right there. Best thing about this boat is that we get a free shower. Yeah. It's 6.30 now. We bought it at 4.30. It's been a while. We have no idea what we're gonna get, we just gave our little vouchers so we got with the tickets. And we're gonna get a plate of food, I guess. Looks like meat to meat with friends and tortillas. Why am I super close when people wonder why I never get rid of those? Awesome looking sunglasses that I got off of eBay at a special price. Anyway, you get the picture right. Yeah, that's a lot of noise. Not only there is a massive diesel engine keeping this boat running, but many of the trucks are actually running all night, all night long just to keep the fridges, I think, on. It's gonna be tough. We left from here, we came up and down, and now we still have all the way to Mazatlan to go. So probably another good 12 hours. <laughs> I'm glad we get to sleep. People say I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out. All right, we survived. It's very noisy, but we survived. Thank you, slept better than I expected. Very, I don't know, just 
aware that I'm going to have to change my habits to be safe here. We're going to have to take a lot more care with our belongings and with where we drive and when we drive. We have to know where we're going each day and we have, we have to have somewhere to camp as well every night before it gets dark. Otherwise it can, you can put yourself in danger here. So it's a bit of an interesting feeling coming here. I'm excited to be in the greenness and the lush of somewhere that's not a desert and mainland Mexico, it's another adventure, but I'm really anxious as well. That's our task for it leaving us there. So we officially landed now. It's 1.30 p.m., which means we've been aboard this boat for almost 20, 20 hours, I guess. And the first impression is nice. It looks really good. It actually reminds me of home. literally just got off the boat it's 2 15 we are planned to be here at 10 so we're at least four hours late and it's way too late to drive anywhere so we are just gonna find a spot to camp in Mazatlan for tonight and we start overlanding tomorrow right mm, let's check out the city welcome to mainland Mexico traffic if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to follow the adventure We've got loads more videos to come. Next week on Overland Way, we visit the famous town of Tequila and get a pretty startling tsunami warning. It is really possible that three metre tsunami will affect this area here and we are just literally 200 metres off the coast. So what we've got to do now is brave driving at night time in Mexico, which is what everyone says not to do, to try and find somewhere that's a little bit further on higher ground. Yeah.